hello everyone welcome to this part number six for the android user where we're going to install the facebook sdk uh, on the android uh, version so uh, for those who didn't follow the other video just to look uh, how it was working it's first thing you're going to need to do npm install inside your uh, mo mobile version so yarn add react native facebook sdk after that what you need to do is doing react native link react native facebook sdk if you've done that now we're going to be at the same point so now inside android studio we're going to need to do to add in some code and for following that we have this getting started with android studio and this uh, facebook sdk so now we are more than uh, 29 so we're going to do above so here add this variable blah 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 here on your finally your uh, main application so this is what we're gonna do so first thing we're gonna do is go inside android studio open app here add go in java main application and now here we're gonna add some import the import we're gonna need is gonna be this two here so callback manager from facebook and also uh, react native android sdk facebook sdk package okay after that, what we're gonna need to do is create here a private oops, a private static call back manager. And we're gonna call that for a call back manager. And that's gonna be equal to callback manager dot factory that create we don't get the autocomplete because you're gonna see it's, uh, we have some weird problem so that what are we gonna need to add here it's gonna be a protected static callback manager so here callback manager like that we're gonna call a function get call get call back manager so it's finally just a, a getter here so here we're gonna just return the m callback manager like that okay so now here the only thing we left to uh, add it's doing here a new oops new line new f b uh, facebook package finally and we pass also the callback manager on it in it okay after that what we're gonna need to do is going inside the main activity and like the uh, show right there we need to just main activity we just need here to add this uh, code so inside main activity here just put that right there and now we're gonna need to uh, have uh, in them so I think I can I don't even remember how to no, so I'm gonna just import from here right here below this one, okay? Just to get the intent right there, okay? So now we have that. Now, what we're gonna need to do it's after that, like they say, we're gonna need to run to, to follow finally in the getting start for the uh, for the Android SDK. So, finally, we're gonna go inside. Uh, your uh, uh, string XML so go inside res value string XML and right there we need to print a new string so we're gonna say string we're gonna put that a name and the name we're gonna get to this one is gonna be equal to this Facebook app ID okay this one need to have the value of your app ID right there inside your insta, cl insta clone on Facebook okay so click here that's gonna copy that's gonna copy for you and paste that right inside this string value right there string text after that what I ask to do is go inside Android manifest so inside your manifest Android manifest and now right there they ask to add permission internet we don't need we have it by default after that we're gonna need to add this um, this metadata okay right so where i'm gonna put that is gonna be right here it's right after this activity make sure this is inside the application okay like that 
So now the string Facebook SDK here gonna equal the value of what we just have put, okay? And now what also we're gonna need is gonna be uh, what we have here. If you need to uh, to be able to sharing link, image or video to Facebook, blah, 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 maybe we're gonna need that in the future. So we're gonna paste that right there. But now here they say, if your app ID is 1234, add that right there at start that. So here, just copy paste uh, again your code, your app ID, and paste that right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we are really close. So now, if I try to run that, now we're gonna get a lot of of breakup and thing like that. Okay. I'm gonna click OK. Now you're gonna see I'm gonna get I get always this kind of error here. It's gonna always kind of crash and okay. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna go inside the module app. So this is with the version of Facebook SDK. I think we get some uh, problem. And what we need finally it's inside your module app. We're gonna change the version here of the compiler SDK to be 26. And we're going to do the same in the Facebook SDK. See, it's already 26, okay? After that, what we also need to do, it's we're going to need to add uh, like uh, another kind of version here for the for the Android SDK from uh, Android. The version is going to be not a 4 plus, but 28, 0, like that, okay? So now we're gonna try again to run. And now we're gonna get uh, uh, some weird problem with this uh, app uh, compact right there. Why they say finally uh, we're gonna just add Google Maven repository in sync project right there. So now everything should be able to run. I've done some Android development, but I'm not the best one. So maybe this is not the best option. Just told me in the comment if you find then uh, like it's not perfect. So it's gonna run, gonna build. So I'm gonna come back when it's gonna be finished. The build is done. So now I'm gonna try to run the app on my uh, simulator. One sec. So now I'm gonna run on my simulator. Okay, and now we're gonna get some error, cannot read property, and uh, okay, so we get some error here. Get callback, cannot find method, get callback manager. So it looks like I've done maybe some typo here. Okay, so uh, finally here we're gonna just see what they say to do. I'm gonna just copy paste this callback manager. I'm gonna copy paste that here. Yeah, I so yeah, so I think I've made a typo. Sorry about that. And for the one at the top, why not use it? I say create with the uppercase C, and this is, and I think we're gonna get autocomplete now. Yeah, create like that. Okay. So now if I run, I think that's gonna work now. And let's see, still run, we have no error, looks good. It's always uh, stress, stressful when we, <laughs> we wait that and don't know if we're gonna get a break or something like that. So now, take a moment. Now it looks like it has been built and now we have it, okay? Now, if you didn't have followed the other tutorial, what I've done is inside the login screen, I've added the login manager from Facebook, React uh, Native Facebook SDK. And also, I've added an on login press event. We'll get called inside this touchable here.
So inside your Touchable, we wrap the continue with Facebook. You need to add the unpressed on login FB press, and this is what you do. And the synchronous call while you do the away login manager login with read permission. Okay. Now if I click on that, this is a moment of truth. And now we get here the project. Okay, we get the project here. But this is not like what you're supposed to do for make it run. What you need to do also is here inside the, their um, uh, the getting start. Uh, like they want you to add a development key. So what you what you need to do finally is to run uh, like uh, this command here inside your Android folder. Okay, and that's gonna give you uh, that's gonna give you uh, a hash key. And this one's going to be the one you're going to use to make uh, the, the, the app running, okay? So inside Mac, you go inside your Android and you just run this command if I can copy paste this command. And now they're going to give you a hash. You give it a password. Not the best password, but you can create one. You take your hash version here. And now what you need to do is go inside your Instaclone. And you add a new platform in your head, okay? And now here inside your key hash, you paste this one, you hit enter, and after that, uh, you should be good. Yes. So now you click on uh, save change. And now it should work. I think me, I've worked because you have just keep in mind this key, but you, you, you should run here and say, like, uh, you are not logged, blah, blah, blah. But now uh, that should work. So now if you refresh your screen, with double R, continue with Facebook, and now this is supposed to run, and this is supposed to uh, be able to work. Sure, this is what you have done, you have put your hash, and now everything should be work. If you need to see the code, I have it on GitHub, but don't forget to import the login manager, being that's a Facebook SDK, and just doing this on a uh, login press, and you should be able to run. And that's it. So in the next one, now it's going to be time to use the token and log with the service we have built in the uh, first part of this milestone. So I hope you enjoy all that. Again, don't, uh, don't forget to see in the description for all the links you're going to need to, uh, to have to make uh, your live easier here. So we're going to talk later. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.